Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you enjoyed today's intro, that my tribute to my husband who served for 25 years in the Canadian Air Force, tribute to his great grandfather, his grandfather, his mom and dad, and all of our other family members that served in our amazing military. Um, I wanted to also get on and say thank you to everyone else that has served. Um, we have so many friends from East Coast, to West Coast. We've made so many people um, good friendships over the 25 years. Military wife for 25 years, enjoyed every minute of it. Um, so with that, today we're going to do a kind of poppy inspired video. I am doing a um, video using steel wool and we're going to make some poppies. may not be traditional poppies, but it's going to be red and black and it's going to be fun. So with that being said, I'm going to get my working clothes on and I will see you guys in just a minute. we are back I am all ready so this is a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas from the dollar store it was six dollars and 29 cents I have it taped I have it push pinned and we're gonna get ready to go I'm excited so this is kind of what we're going with kind of cool and I kept playing so it got muddy but that's the just of what I'm about to try to do. So I'm just using my Dutch pour mix, which I think is kind of cool. And these are um, stainless steel scouring pads that I'm going to use. This one I used, it's wet because I had to wash it. It came with one um, brass. Is it brass? Anyways, one's gold, one's silver. We're gonna pull out the silver one and we will use it. I'm just gonna puff it all out. We get different little texture marks, there we go. And we'll get that ready. So I'm gonna base coat. I'm just using, like I said, my Dutch pour mix. Um, my white is, this is um, Daler and Rowney acrylic white I mix with my Floetrol which is a link in the description box my video on how I mix my paints and this one is the same white but it has my glitter in it so I'm going to flood with this I'm hoping I have enough that's why I chose such a small canvas but it doesn't have to be complete this looks hilarious because um, if you can see, it's got four holes. So I'm just gonna try to get as much on here as I can. And I'm gonna give it a blow dry. Let's get this. Just use my blow dryer and I'm just gonna blow dry it off. crazy thick in my opinion you just want something so that the paint will yeah we'll see 
I'm just gonna try and cover the sides. And I've got my white glitter that I'm gonna now put on. And I think we'll be good for the base. I'm just gonna grab a paper towel. Uh, there we go. Too worried if I use it all because we can mix more and like I said this one is my one same mixture but I put my glitter in it a word, a swoop to do. All right. Perfect. Put that to wipe off. And we're going to give it a torch. First, all those bubbles. And I apologize, we are painting in the sun again today. There's no way in H I can get that <laughs> to come, not come in. So I apologize in advance. So um, the lovely lady, is it Gemma, um, is where I've seen this from. I will link her in the description box. I've done another video from her as well before. And it's pretty simple, my friends. So I'm picking... I got four colors here, so I'm gonna play around. So I have, this is Grumbrockers, Alzarian Crimson. This one is Pebio Studios Transparent Vermilion. It has iridescent medium in that one. I have, this is the Deco Art um, Metallics 24 karat gold. I don't have a label on it yet. And I'm using, some um, Artist Loft Black Metallic, just because poppies have black in it, right? So what Gemma was doing was she placed, and I'm gonna do probably four in my little divided plate. I'm gonna do one, and she put them side by side. I found when I was doing the other one, they got muddy pretty fast. And I'm gonna put a, just a dash of the gold down the center. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of black. And I will take a stick and just kind of swirl it a little bit. I'm going to use this end of it. There. So I'm excited and nervous. It's always nervous doing a new thing on a video. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do about nine, maybe flowers and then we'll do some little things to decorate with. So I'm going to turn it this way. I'm hoping you can still see me. And this is all she did. This is crazy how it works. That and here we go. Now I'm going to keep wiping off the white because I found it got muddy. Yeah. Let's go over here. 
That's weird. That's funny how it went so pretty in that one. The colors. Let's just do the two and see what happens. And I did use the other one, so I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, there we go. squirting more. I guess I haven't done this one yet. Lot of white in there. I'm just doing plain old red now. I'm thinking, let me just put my torch. I'm gonna get rid of the bubbles. And I'm wondering if I should take some of that white off. Oh, but I'm afraid to because I don't have any more. Here, I'm just going to blow dry down. I like putting my whole video up because you have no idea how much paint is on the bottom you have no idea you know it's nice it's short it's cute but it's hard when they're you don't know what uh, what they've really done I'm gonna use the gold one now because I've should have put some water down here This does. There we go. It's hilarious. Everything goes good when off camera. Right? All right, more red. <laughs> A little bit of black so it doesn't go pink. And oh my goodness, I have two more. Let's try, let's put orange in here. That looks like Halloween, oh my goodness. Let's do one more with just a couple with just red, and then I think we're gonna call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Burst some bubbles, my friends. Now we're going to come in. I have to wash my hands off here, guys. Just give me one quick second. Ow. And we will try again, right? Nothing comes out. You Don't give up because there's always things you can do. I'm just going to use these stylists. And we're going to make some. Oh, I may have to find something a little thicker. Red, black. I'm just squirting some paint out. Because now I want to make some stems. And let's get. We will get out one of my um, tools here palette knife. Couldn't think of the word. I'm so sorry, guys. And just we're just playing. I'm just mixing. Whatever comes on is what is there. stem for this guy. And then let's just do a couple little abstract right guys nothing is perfect but then you know what neither is mother nature there and now what I think I might do is take some black and put it at the bottom Make it look like it's the bottom of the flower where it attaches. Some, some, something, something. I think that's it. I'm gonna maybe with the gold. Let's see if we can do. We'll put some. <laughs> if I can find a spot, we'll put some a little bit of the gold there. And I'm gonna use my stylist. 
and we're just going to do some dots. And let me actually, let me get the paint out itself and use the actual paint because it's thicker. And I'm just going to do this. Oh, you know what? That ain't going to work either. That is hilarious. Okay. Let's just play with this. It seemed to work on a couple, so. There we go. Load her right up. And it's gonna fade out by the looks of it. I'm just gonna scoop a bunch. Hold it, let it drip. There we go. Scoop as much as we can on there. And we'll go this way. Hold it so it performs a little bit of a drop on the... It's hard to tell on my stylus because it's a, it's a chunky one. There we go. It. I don't want to put anything else on it, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a torch just to get rid of all of the bubbles that are might be left in there. And there you go. I'm excited. I think this isn't too bad. Now let me just put my lids on and clean my bottles because I I made a mess and. If you're using the um, steel wool, wash it right away so your paint don't dry in it. What I should have had down here was a bucket of water that I could have just placed it into. But hindsight, 50, whatever they say. So there we go, my friends. I'll bring you down for a quick close up and I'll see you in just a second. Here we go. Oh my goodness, that sun. I'm sorry. It's beautiful, but it's hard to see. And again, like I said, my friends, it, this is abstract. So I know it's not 100% flowers, but you know what? You can see that it's flower, in my opinion. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let it dry and hopefully you can um, see the dry results at the end. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hello, we are back. We are all dry. Oh my goodness. I love this. There's that little wee bit of glitter. It is pretty amazing. Now, because I'm gonna actually sign this one. So I have taken a oh my goodness I'm trying to read that 20 over 10 over zero it's it's a liner brush very 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 fine you take a little bit of paint water it down and you can write with it so i'm just using the black my dutch pour mix and you want to load it up and then you want to make it to a point. And here we go, my friends. The signing begins. And you'll probably have to keep loading.
haven't signed a product in a long time. There we go. It is signed. Amazing. I love how these turned out. They expanded, which is very cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring you down. We'll give you a nice close-up. Actually, I'll hang you on the wall behind me on my rack, and I'll let you take a peek at it. I'll see you in a second, guys. There you go. I am just happy with it. It just, I don't know. I never used to be an abstract person, but this is cool. And there's the signature. I may throw a coat of resin on that because I think it is very pretty. So with that, my beautiful people, I wanted to, again, say um, thank you to all our military personnel out there for their service. I want to thank you um, from the bottom of my heart because today's video, again, is in a dedication um, to all our fellow men and women in service. So with that, my beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you think about subscribing because I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Um, and hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Hit that bell for notifications. And in my description box, I have the links to my Facebook page. I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I have the links to where to purchase um, crystal resin. I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to Fundy Mold and my discount code is in there as well. And um, my two amazing Lares distributors, my Canadian is Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her amazing site with my discount code is Sherry Molten Tan, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner is my American distributor and my glitter guru. Um, check out her website. My discount code is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And yeah, check out those two ladies' sites. And with that, my PayPal link is in there if you want to donate. And I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.